This is Twit. WCCF uh, Tech last week, uh, almost a week ago now, uh, NVIDIA Ampere GA104 GPU powering GeForce GTX 2080 and GeForce GTX 2070 launching in April. Mass production has begun. GP102, a.k.a. the thing that powers the 1080 Ti, is end of life. Uh, Usman Pirzada at WCCF Tech. Uh, and they, they flat out label this as a rumor. You know, yep. leak season is starting. And I guess they found it originally from a place called 3D Center, um, which uh, I could barely get to run through Google Translation. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, Ampere Geruk Dakuka. Production would be German, um, but uh, you know the the it is officially the beginning of the possibility of the nearness of the next generation NVIDIA GPU, which of course spawned uh, you know internet rumors that the real reason you can't buy a GPU is because NVIDIA is basically waiting to force everybody to buy the new GPU, which makes no sense, um, or that they cannot they're they're scaling up the new gpus but don't want to sell them yet until they have a big stockpile uh, which also doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because i don't think they'd shut one line down at the production facility uh before they they launch the next one in any case do you do you expect a new micro architecture succeeding pascal um uh, the ga104 uh on april 12th uh i don't know um, Watch his face the, closely, because if he has NDA face, you'll know it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I honestly have none of that here. Um, <clears throat> the the idea that um, NVIDIA would release a, a new generation of product, not call it Volta, it, because Volta has been out for a while now. It kind of makes sense that they would, even if it were a slight deviation on it, want to rebrand it, right? Because Volta is kind of, it's not old, but it's like it's been out in the high-end um you know, machine learning and professional spaces for for several months, uh, maybe maybe as much as six months now. So it kind of maybe has lost some of its luster. So it wouldn't surprise me if they were um, rebranding or reconfiguring it. It also makes sense from a certain point of view to move away from the Volta architecture and its tie into HBM2 memory. HBM2 memory is still very expensive, still hard to manufacture and get a hold of. Uh, and if NVIDIA wanted to make a more mass market part, they would maybe tie it to G5X or GDDR6 memory system. And if you do that, naming it something other otherwise would be uh, a, a useful thing to do. I think there's enough data points out there now that April seems like a reasonable time frame. It's right after. So GDC is like the second or third week. Uh, is, is the third week of March. And then NVIDIA's own GTC, GPU Technology Conference, is the last week of March. So they could use either one of those opportunities to announce the product and then have a mid to late April, whatever, relaunch for it with reviews and going on sale and all that type of stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. There was another story I snuck into the show notes as well that kind of countered this rumor. Not that they weren't going to uh, release a new product in that time frame, but that the naming might be confused. And this story on Tech Power Up claims that NVIDIA Turing is actually a chip hand-built or, or customized for cryptocurrency and blockchain mining in order to free up the Volta architecture to be used for gaming, which is an interesting conversation to have, right? Also, if you kind of think of the name Turing, it kind of makes sense, right? Um, because it was... There was a British scientist, Alan Turing, credited for leading a team of mathematicians that broke the Nazi enigma cryptography. So right. crypto mining, blockchain, computer accelerator kind of makes sense for that that nomenclature. Not that they wouldn't be able to use it for gaming and get away with it. Um, but according to this report, it says it's being designed to be compact, efficient, and ready for large-scale deployment by amateur miners and crypto mining firms alike in a quasi-industrial scale. It's kind of interesting to see these quasi. two rumors pretty much in direct opposition to each other, uh, come out within the same week or so. Um, but both both lean into the fact that that doesn't mean something's not happening in the April of this year timeframe for a new product release. It's just a matter of, is it going to be Volta or is it going to be something else? Or is this something else built to, to counter the, uh, the mining side of things? I don't really know. I, I'd be very curious and I'm interested to learn about what a mining specific chip looks like that somehow changes the ecosystem if it's cheaper to build and it's 
easier to manufacture and get out in the market and, and produce in volumes. I don't know why gamers wouldn't be interested in that if there's a bulk of it. And the same thing occurs if you're miners, then once all those those Turing parts go away, um, then the they would just go right back to buying whatever those consumer class cards are. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean I don't know. Some people I'm reading this are saying this is kind of a, this. Jensen is going to save PC gaming. I guess that's the title of the story, right? And I just don't know if that's really possible in our current ecosystem, the way it works. I, I hope it's the case. Um, it, it suggests a fundamental lack of understanding in the idea of economics that as long as somebody can buy all of the cards and keep making money, they'll buy all of the better cards. And then if the, the money makes sense, they'll buy all of the cards that aren't as good as the awesome cards um, because – they are funding a business, not trying to buy onesie twosie cards for gaming. I, I get people want to be saved and they want Jensen to be saving them and they want NVIDIA to be the hero in this. And it's great if they can pull it off. But, you know, I think they'll buy all of the super cards that are designed for, you know, just like everybody who can't buy an ASIC is going to buy these cards and they're still going to try to buy ASICs. And then they're all going to keep buying all the consumer cards as long as they can make a profit doing it I, I think the only thing either either flood the market with so many cards that everybody who wants one can buy one because then you don't have scarcity or you make it so that nobody can make money mining anywhere with the cards and then there's no economic motivation to buy all the cards but you know scarcity will exist as long as people can make a metrics pile i can't use that other highly technical <laughs> term on a family-friendly podcast um as long as people can continue to make a pile of money they will buy all of the cards. I mean, that's just that's just money. People like making money. Um, yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. And a lot of the people that are doing this, people think it's like Bob in his garage, and he's got a couple of machines, and then he buys the third machines. And the reality is, there's like there's people running out industrial spaces and moving to parts of the country with cheap electricity just to create huge industrial spaces full of mining equipment where the electricity is cheap, which makes it more affordable to mine. Um, it's like been a big complaint in certain parts of Washington and stuff that like they're getting flooded with people putting huge strains on the electrical system because they're running huge mining operations because they can make more money. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's a, it is not a problem that is going away anytime soon. I think um, no. it would be awesome. This card was so super and amazing that it made the problem go away instantly. Uh, but this is me not holding my breath on this one. Yeah, yeah. I think it, regardless of what actually happens, it's nice to see that there looks like there's some movement from NVIDIA in the side. They've been pretty stagnant in the GPU side because they've had a lead. They've had an advantage in gaming and all these other spaces. Um, they've had no problem selling cards either, just like AMD. So the the desire to push out new architectures was kind of minimized, right? You can do a whole bunch of things if you have more time. You can improve yield. You can improve efficiency. You can improve implementations. Uh and now it seems like it, it, too many indications are telling us that something's going to happen in April. Some products are going to come out in April. So we'll see if that is a new gaming line, if it's a new mining specific line, or if it's both. We'll see.